how to do keyword research the right way. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to walk you through the Google Keyword Planner tool step by step how I use it and also make sure you stay through to the end of this video because I'm going to walk you through four additional free tools that you can use to perform keyword research that often the Google Keyword Planner tool doesn't even mention. So let's go dive right in and I'm going to walk you through it. So here we are in our live Google Ad account and as mentioned I'm going to show you the Keyword Planner tool in Google Ads. How I got here was Tools and Settings and then Planning and then Keyword Planner and that lands me on this screen. Okay, so to be clear of the big picture as well, what we're doing is we're going to be uh, bidding on keywords, sending people to this course that I teach people on how to create a retargeting campaign on multiple platforms. So how to create a Google retargeting campaign uh, and a Facebook retargeting campaign. So those are the kinds of keywords that we want to find because those are the people we're trying to get in front of. Okay, so this is a course that I'm teaching. So ideally, I want to get in front of people who are searching for this type of course and also help on how to do the specific things that I'm teaching. Okay, so the Google Keyword Planner will help us do that. So when you land here, you're going to get two options here to discover new keywords or get search volume and forecast. But really, what I want to do is I want to discover new keywords. So if I'm going to click this first one and I can either put some initial keywords here that I think might be relevant to what it is um, that I'm trying to sell, or I could even as it says here, start with a website and you can put in an entire site or a specific landing page and Google will crawl that page and come up with ideas for possible keywords that you could use based on the content on the page. Okay, so what I am always do is I always start with keywords. So as I said, this is a retargeting course. So uh, that would be one possible keyword that I might look to explore. So I've done retargeting course. Uh, I also could do remarketing course. Uh, but then I could also think quite specifically of people who uh, maybe remarketing tutorial is a similar iteration of that. Also maybe Google retargeting campaign, uh, Facebook retargeting campaign. And I could also try quite general keywords, like even just a single keyword of remarketing, uh, just to see what Google can kind of give me some ideas about. Okay, and then I can set my country here. So I click on that and then I've just targeted the United States, but you would put in whatever country uh, you want to target. Scroll down and click get results. And Google's going to really give me um, information about the ones, the keywords that I've put in. Uh, which are these are the keywords here, the keyword that says that you provided, all right? Um, and then it will also give me additional keyword ideas, and I'll get to that in a sec. Okay, so it gives me, because this is an existing account where I am actually running a campaign at the moment, as in it's on a new account, it is giving me data on the average monthly searches. If you're looking at this in your own account and it's a new account where you haven't really even put in any billing or anything, then you might find that these average monthly search numbers are just a range. So for example, the 20 would be, you know, naught to 1k and sort of it gives you a range of traffic, which is not really very helpful. Um, and so, yeah, if you see that discrepancy, that is why. Um, and so really, I take these average monthly search volume numbers really with a grain of salt, to be honest. And I know many people would probably be watching this because they're really thinking about SEO reasons. And just take it from me as somebody who actually runs a lot of Google ad campaigns and traffic, that these numbers are wildly different from actual search volume, you know. So really take these numbers with a grain of salt. And I'm almost convinced they're like a relative measure to each other, you know. So for example, um, this would have, you know, five times the amount of traffic than than this particular keyword. So rather than there's only 10 people who search for Google retargeting campaign in the month, I know that for a fact that it's more. Um, it's more like a relative measure. 
So yeah, just as I said, take it with a grain of salt. But really what I look for here is more this chart, you know. So if I hover over this, it brings up the chart. And really what I'm looking for um, is like seasonal type stuff. So here's, I mean, there's such low numbers, but this is probably a bit more representative where that's actually got decent amount of volume for the single keyword of remarketing, where really what I'm looking for is, are, are, are there any trends that I can ascertain from here? There's a spike here in October for some reason, but really it's not, not a massive change over the course of uh, a year, which is what this, this particular is. And then obviously it gives the year on year change. I don't, I ignore that. The competition level, um, also, if you, especially if you're not running ads, it doesn't really matter, but take that with a grain of salt as well. And these are the bid ranges. Once again, in my experience, these also vary wildly. So really what I'm looking for here is just keyword ideas. I don't really pay attention to all these other metrics here. Um, if you want to uh, change your, current, your country, you can just do so here and you can also make a longer time frame or last month time period. This is obviously up to you. Um, and then this chart is really showing us uh, the total amount of traffic versus how does that compare to the mobile traffic. So really what you want to look for here is this distance between the blue line and the red line. Is that bigger than this you know, this distance between the x-axis and the red line? Which really this tells me that this is more of a desktop or, or iPad type uh, search query rather than a mobile query, which kind of is, you know, I, I can see that happening. Okay, so scrolling down here, they're giving us keyword ideas. Okay, so RLSA, which is great, which is retargeting list for search ads. So, yep, that, that is probably a good keyword to add. Uh, remarketing Google Ads, Facebook remarketing, dynamic retargeting, and, and really they're just giving us, as it says here, 484 keyword ideas that are available. Okay, now you could kind of go through this and start kind of clicking on some of these keywords and, and adding it to a, to a plan and creating a plan within the Google Ad ecosystem. But obviously many people use the Keyword Planner tool with no intention of actually running a Google Ad campaign. They're doing it for uh, blogging ideas and SEO ideas. Uh, and actually even so, even when I am running a Google Ad campaign, I personally don't build a plan. What I do like to do is I like to download this data into a Google Sheet and yeah, I'm going to download it here and then really work within a Google Sheet uh, with having a look through this data. So I'm going to open this sheet and you can see here that this is the data that has just been uh, dumped into this particular Google Sheet. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and I'm going to get rid of these top two rows and um, this is really the, the what I want to focus on, this average monthly searches. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the currency column. Uh, I can keep these here, but really I just kind of ignore them. And I've actually got to convert this to be a number because for some reason it's not a number. And then what I like to do is I like to filter and I, used to, I like to rank by average monthly searches. These have no numbers that have come up like that. And if we just scroll up here, we can see that, um, let's just get rid of this. These ones might just make it easier to read. And then we can see that the single keyword remarketing has that amount of volume. And I can go through this keyword list and think about keywords that I want to include uh, as well as exclude when I do create my campaign. Okay, and you can highlight them you know, red or green or, or whatever you like. Okay, so often what I will also do is once I've kind of got a bit of a dump of keywords this way, I might go back to broaden my search a little bit. So for example, for some reason it's put in advertising here. I don't quite know why. Let's get rid of remarketing course. And I might do RLSA because that was actually a good idea that Google gave me um, as well as um, let's do retargeting single keyword as well because we've got remarketing but similar and we could also do YouTube retargeting because that is also what we teach and we click get results and now we've got 936 keywords available which is great so then we can once again have a look and look YouTube retargeting looks like it would be a good keyword and really I can go through this process again 
and look through here of ones that I want to include and ones that I don't want to include. Uh, as mentioned at the start of the video, here are a couple of other free tools that I also use in addition to the Keyword Planner tool, which is a tool called answerthepublic.com. So I did this prior to hitting record. I just put in the single keyword of remarketing and it's given me a bunch of information about if, um, yeah, so types of queries that people put into Google related to the term remarketing. So for example, they've got what here. So what remarketing do, not that, that makes sense. Uh, what is remarketing Google Analytics? What remarketing, anyway. So this will give you not only content ideas, but also keyword ideas of maybe what you want to rank for. So if we scroll down here, there's remarketing with Google Analytics, with Facebook ads, blah, blah, blah. So this might be also some really good other ideas. And then it also gives us with prepositions, obviously I won't go through all of this, and then it's broken it down alphabetically and you can also download this data as well and put it in um, a, a Google Sheet. We actually, I actually teach people how to do that as well and we build out a keyword research um, spreadsheet. So we have uh, we've got a tab called the, for the Keyword Planner where we, um, we rank uh, we put in the data here and the green keywords are the keywords that we want and the red keywords are the keywords that are going to be negative keywords. And then uh, we put in answer the public information here as well. And really we build out this spreadsheet and we're pulling all our data uh, to get it together. Okay. Another tool that I like is called suvel.com. You might find this probably more applicable if you've got an e-commerce store, but I've absolutely used this for information products. So I might type in um, remarketing and this will give me ideas uh, for you know, on Google, on Amazon, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, etc. And uh, we've got remarketing, you know, Facebook ads, Google ads, etc. You get the idea. And as I just keep typing in, this will keep changing this data. So I did remarketing course. Um, and you know, remarketing training courses, etc. So Suvel is a really, really cool tool and you can definitely grab some of the keywords that the Google Keyword Planner has given you. Um, for example, RLSA um, and um, it will give you additional ideas as well. I'm also a big fan of even just going to Google, right? And typing in remark, oopsie, let's do remarketing. Um, and then seeing what Google Instant comes up with. So remarketing strategies could be a really good keyword as well. Uh, remarketing meaning. So meaning I might add as a negative keyword. Uh, remarketing list for search ads comes up again, that RLSA. Um, <clears throat> so let's say uh, remarketing Facebook ads. I also like to scroll to the bottom here and have a look at their suggestions as well because these suggestions are also based on on what people type into Google. And these types of keywords often don't come up in the keyword planner. So then I might grab some of these keywords and put them back into the Google keyword planner to see what else Google will show me. So maybe dynamic retargeting Facebook. Uh, we could do that. Dynamic remarketing Facebook. And then let's just get rid of some of these. And we go get results. And then we can see, oopsie, uh, dynamic remarketing Facebook. And then it might also give us some more suggestions uh, around permutations and combinations that around that particular keyword as well. I also like to use another tool called Keywords Everywhere. And this is a Chrome add-on here that, um, that we can turn on. Oopsie. We, we turn it on and then we can go here and we can type it in uh, remarketing Facebook ads again and then uh, we can see here keywords everywhere also brings up volume CPC data as well as trend data as well and it gives us a bunch of information about the particular keyword that we can use uh, as well and long tail keywords which is really often where the money is and um, ideas of other keywords that we can use. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's how you're gonna do keyword research and also use the Google Keyword Planner tool. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up icon and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.